brilliant. Yeah. If that's a doctor. Oh, my God. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get mad at doctors, okay? Well, people that's, don't take it. They say you could cut blindness. Yeah. You tell. You, what, does your doctor want to come on the air, Marie? I'd love to have a conversation. We could talk to all our listeners. Oh. We, we, ask him if he wants to come on the air. And I want to know how, he, how dare he poison your body with prednisone when you already got toxic blood. For the listeners, ESR... Is a measurement of how how dirty your blood is. It's called a sedimentation rate, which is how much it, how much the crap sinks out of the out, out of the blood when they test it. They take your blood out of your out of your uh, out of your vein or out of your or wherever they take it out of, and they put it in a little test tube and they see how how uh, how fast the crap sinks to the bottom. The more crap that's in it, the faster it sinks. Basically, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, eh, I, I don't know how. To- it's minute. dirty blood. So now he wants to give you prednisone so that your body doesn't inflame as much. See, here's the thing. When the blood gets dirty, it starts to inflame. It gets clotted. Proteins start to, de- to develop. This is what I've been talking about this whole – I've been talking about it for years. Your blood is dirty. Inflammatory factors are building up in the blood. When inflammatory factors build up in the blood because the blood affects everything in the body, travels from head to toe, you're going to feel like crap right. everywhere. So, yes, he's telling you got dirty blood. You don't need him for that. I told you that on the air. I told you that. I t- some guy in the radio has been telling you that for, for years. You don't need an ESR. This is what I've been saying. But you, what you got to do if you really want to take care of this is not take, more dr- not take drugs, but clean the blood. So how does the blood get dirty, Marie? Is it magic? Uh, I, the food. Hello, Marie. You got to have had a digestive issue for a long time for this to be occurring. Yeah. You got to have had food problems for a long time for this to be occurring. Now, you throw into the mix nutritional deficiencies and low blood oxygen, and it's a big circle because low blood oxygen and nutritional deficiencies lead to more low blood oxygen and nutritional deficiencies and toxicity. I mean, it's a big circle, and that's where it goes out of control. So you start where you, start where you can start, and that's with food. Immediately, you should be fasting for a day or two. Just hit the, clean the decks. Hit the reset button. If you have a hard time fasting, use Jordan Rubin, Jordan Rubin's uh, a Swear V product, or Longevity product, the Beyond Organic products, but Jordan formulated it. Do half a bottle every hour. So you're doing six a day. That's how you fast. They call it a swear V cleanse. I call it a fast. Okay? Any and do bottles it for, uh, per hour? No, half a bottle every hour. Oh, two half bottles. Hour. Yeah, half a bottle, a bottle every two hours. So you're doing six bottles a day in a 12-hour day. Do it for two days, three days if you can. Then do a food diary. Immediately begin to eliminate problem foods. You'll know them immediately. When you fast, your body becomes resensitized to foods that you never noticed were a problem before. All of a sudden, you're going to be like, oh my God, I eat that bread and my belly really hurts. You know, and you didn't notice it before. Or I ate that rice and I got really constipated and you never noticed it before. But when you, when you fast, things become more clear. You know, if it makes sense, you follow me? You start to notice things. So do it fast right away. Next thing you're going to want to do is start to clean the blood out actively. That's a, that's a passive way of cleaning out the blood by eliminating things, but actively clean out the blood. Now, you can go as far as do chelation therapy, or you can use chelating agents like algaes and, and vitamin C is wonderfully chelating. Bentonite clay, zeolite, these are also ways to clean out the blood. Nutritional, nutri- uh, uh, nutritional supplement program, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, absolutely. That will help clean out your blood. Blood. Make sure you're oxygenating. Make sure you're moving your blood. Oxygenating by deep breathing, moving your blood and your lymph by getting on a rebounder, hanging upside down on an inversion device, lymphatic massage, exercise, anything you do to move things around. Right, you follow me? Between eliminating problem foods, and by the way, sugar counts as a problem. So restricting sugar also. Eating less food, eating less problem food, restricting sugar, getting on a supplement program, oxygenating, moving your lymphatic system and your blood uh, circulation by, by getting on a rebounder, relaxing the body. Where have you heard this before? Every day. It's the same stuff, Marie. All right? Did I, did I help you out? Yes, yes. I want to get to one more call. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. ESR. Love it. All right. Mayor in Chicago, what's going on? Hi, how are you, Ben? Is this the mayor of Chicago or mayor in Chicago? In Chicago. Okay. All right. Thank How's you. Chicago Thanks these days? I, I heard uh, Chicago is like the murder capital of the universe at this point. It Maybe is. not as. It's very violent. Do you live in the city? Yes, I live in the city. I love Chicago, by the way. So it's too bad what's happening there. That's a beautiful, beautiful city. Well, you're, you're literally right downtown? Uh, no, not downtown. I'm kind of on the edge of the city. Okay, cool. So what's going on? How can we help you, Mayor? 
Okay, but I've uh, never had problems with my skin in my life, and recently I had an outbreak of uh, little pinkish spots all over my face, mainly around my eyes and on my cheeks. Yes, that always means an always means an allergic reaction. Well, not always. Ninety nine percent of the time, it means an allergic reaction. If it's happening chronically, it's something you're doing chronically. First thing is always food. Okay, that's always the first okay. likely suspect. Uh, so, we, if you want to do it absolutely correctly, like a hundred percent, then fast. If you can't fast, notice when you flare up. Do you flare up at all? Um, they kind of. Some days they're more pinkish than others, and that's in the morning what, that's they what you have wanna... a dead layer of skin on them. Like it kind of looks like dandruff. You can scrape it off. But you still have the red spots underneath the scraping. Yes. Yeah, then the red spots are almost always an allergic reaction. Flare-ups are your best friend it's because you, then you can figure, what did I do the last 6 to 12 hours? It's usually how long it takes or even less, how long it takes a flare-up to occur. And so that's something to consider. It makes sense that it would happen first thing in the morning, especially if you eat at night because things pool up through the evening. So if you flares up, that's your best friend. To make it flare up, you can, you can do a food diary and see what you're doing and then do lots of certain things. So say you're eating lots of burritos, eat extra burritos. You know, I'm just making things up here. But whatever you're doing, do extra. Or, or whatever you're doing, stop doing. Either way. Uh, the best ways to stop doing is to fast and then start again, start your life again, but keeping track in a journal of everything you're doing. I, w I would go with food first and foremost. Now, if you have digestive issues, that's in your interest because that's another indicator. Gas, bloating, discomfort, although it's not always there, uh, but if mm -hmm. the, it is there, that's an indicator that there's certain problem foods. That's what you want to be looking at, my friend. And then also... Uh, as an aside, which not necessarily will help your problem, but you should be doing digestive support nutrients like probiotics, fermented foods, uh, uh, more fiber, vegetable juices, eating less calories, supporting digestive health as well. That's where I'd be focusing on, though, Mayor. Okay. Okay, buddy? Would you say, right, well, uh, would you say it's a, some kind of form of psoriasis? Uh, it doesn't sound like psoriasis. Psoriasis is plaques. Psoriasis is, is excess skin that rises up on the surface, and it looks like a plaque. I don't, okay. if, you know what I'm saying? Like a, I don't know how to describe a plaque, except it's just a thick layer of skin. Sometimes it's silvery. You'll notice psoriasis. That's pretty dramatic. It could be an eczema, but eczema is almost always related to some kind of nutritional deficiency. Now, here's another thing I forgot to mention. If you have a deficiency in fats... If you have a deficiency in fats, that's going to destabilize the skin so that you're more predisposed to food reactions. So using omega-3 fats, using your ultimate EFAs, as well as fatty vitamins, particularly vitamin A and D, that can help strengthen the skin so it's not so responsive or jumpy to whatever you're eating. But it's a combination, probably a combination of, uh, I focus on foods and then also fats and fatty uh, fat supplementation. Got to go, Mayor. Thanks so much for your call. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.